Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a grey black scorched ash wasteland with malevolent pink and purple energy coming through cracks in the earth. So without any further ado, let's cue the music. To start out with, I'll be putting down a base coat of heavy violet from Vallejo Game Color to provide a base of where I want the purple glowing energy to be. And in this case, I want to cover about three quarters of the base, but if you want your cracks to be showing throughout the full base, then give the entire base a nice even cover of this heavy violet color. If you don't have heavy violet, Nagaroth Knight from Games Workshop will work just as well. Next, I'm really going to push the pink vibrancy of this purple color to show this reality cracking of this base. And so I'm thinning down some pink horror a little bit more than I normally would and doing a random jagged pattern over the purple. If you want to do this over the whole base, you might want to do concentric circles. But if you want that random reality twisting effect, then doing a random jagged pattern and building it up in these thin layers, I find it's a really nice way of giving that random effect once the crackle paint goes down over the top. After a couple of layers, the pink horror looks like this. As you can see, with each layer, I focus more to the middle, and so there's a bit of a feathering on the edges. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because with this, this is going to get covered over by crackle paint, so we don't need perfect blends or perfect coverage. Next, I'm refining this pinky colour with some Empress Children from Games Workshop. And I've thinned this down only a little bit, as I'd only want to do maybe one pass of this, but this is just to refine that pinky tone within the middle. The final step in these energy cracks is to add some white paint into the middle, and you can use any white that you fancy. I've thinned this down just a little bit of water, but the thing to remember is these don't have to be perfect. All we're doing is we're giving the suggestion of a transition of energy power from a raw white in the middle fading out through pinks and purples. And as you can see, these transitions are quite messy, but once the crackle paint goes down over the top, that's gonna to solve all of those issues. So don't worry about perfect blends, even though here I'm feathering out the white a bit, just by taking a wet brush and going backwards and forwards over the edges. I don't need this to be perfect. I just need to give the suggestion that this is a crackling, vibrant energy twisting through the realities of the warp or whatever game system you're playing that has rampant energy. Now that we've finished with our crackling energy, I am then going to put down some grey texture paint onto the areas that I don't want to have any cracks showing through. With mine, this is about the one third area where I hadn't put any of the paint on, but you might have gone all crackling all over your base and that's absolutely fine. If that's the case, you can skip this step. And this is a matter of putting down a little bit of grey texture paint where you want solid ground to be. The next step is where the fun begins. Here I'm taking some Warden Earth black crackle paint from Games Workshop and I'm going to be putting this quite thickly all over the purple and pink crackling energy. If you really want to enhance the crackling of this, lay this on super thick, but put a coat of PVA down first, and whilst the PVA is still wet, then put the modern earth on. As the PVA dries, it will pull the modern earth further apart, allowing for bigger cracks. I wanted to go for a more subtle effect, so I'm just using this straight out the pot and varying up how thick I'm putting it in places. I'm doing it thinner towards the gray earth, but I'm doing it thicker over those wavy patterns. To stop the edge of the modern earth and the grey texture paint being such a harsh edge, I'm taking a clean wet brush and feathering out the transition between the two. Now this is why I made the modern earth really thin towards the edge. And this is going to get quite messy so I'm just using an old brush for this. But I'm just merging the two a bit so that we get a variation of colour between them so it doesn't have that stark line between the black and the grey. Once it's done, leave it plenty of time to dry. After leaving the Warden Earth mix to dry overnight, it's come out rather fantastic. Now you're quite happy to leave it here for a nice quick basing method, but we can do a few steps to take it further. What I'm going to do next is thin down some Druchy Violet Purple Wash from Games Workshop and use this to enhance the purple tones as if there's a glow effect going onto the grey earth. 
and so with this I'm applying the thin coat over onto the grey texture paint and if you want you can go onto the modern earth and a bit over the cracks I try not to go into the cracks too much as it's very easy to darken them down and lose that vibrancy of the energy we've got going through I do it over here but it's up to you whether you want to or not depends how vibrant you want the energy to glow Next, I'm going to add some highlights into the grey, into the black areas of this base. And to do this, I'm coming in with a light dry brush of Mechanica Standard Grey from Games Workshop. And you can do as much or as little as you like with this, but I recommend doing it especially over the area where you have that transition between the modern earth and the grey texture paint, just to really help blend the two colours together. I would do your best to try and stay away from the purple energy cracks. I do spill over a bit onto here, but in hindsight I would say to try and keep away and focus on the grey and the black areas to try and ensure that you can maintain that energy popping off the base and showing that colour. As a final highlight I'm coming in with some light grey from Vallejo, again in a dry brushing motion. You can use Administratum Grey from Games Workshop if you don't have this colour and this is just as a final spot highlight to really blend all the colours seamlessly together to give us that nice purple energy cracking through that ashen wasteland feel. With that, our purple reality warping energy base is now complete. I've added a green grass tuff just to provide some interest and some colour contrast. If you like this tutorial, why not consider subscribing? It's free of charge and you get further updates on your YouTube feed on videos just like this one. So, until next time folks.